Hello, my name is Steve Thatcher. I'm from Help With Debt, and you're through to Help With Debt's YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me once again. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, what to expect from your experience with the bankruptcy court. Now, if you're one of the millions who have been struggling with debt over the last three years, then you may well have considered a number of debt solutions. Perhaps you've tried something as simple as debt management plan, either set up yourself or through a debt management company. Um, for others, it may have been an IVA put in place for you by one of the numerous providers who you can see advertising on TV and in the papers and across the web. Uh, I have helped out many people who have tried an IVA but found that they cannot meet the monthly contributions. Now, if you've tried these solutions and found they didn't work or if you have realised that your debt problems need a quick fix, but um, sorry, a quick but effective solution, then bankruptcy may be the appropriate option for you. The bankruptcy experience can be daunting if you've never been involved in producing official paperwork or been before a county court. Uh, you can get help with the bankruptcy process from organisations such as the CAB or indeed ourselves. You can get your bankruptcy pack from me, uh, the CAB or the court. Court clerks are very knowledgeable and do their best to put you at ease. Uh, when you are beginning the bankruptcy process, you need to have all your information to hand. Now this would be details of your income, your expenditure, your assets and your liabilities. This will make the process of completing your statement of affairs, which is 28 pages long, uh, an easier process. If you can complete your paperwork yourself, you need to take the statement of affairs and the petition in triplicate to your court. You will also need a fee of £700, that is unless you qualify for a remission of £175 of the court fee. That fee needs to be in cash. Now the court clerk will process your papers and check A, that you're at the correct court, and B, your paperwork is in order, and C, that you have taken the appropriate advice. If the clerk is satisfied that all is in order, then they will process your papers and give you a court number. They will take your payment and advise you where to sit and wait to see the judge. This part of the process should take no more than 30 minutes. It may be some time before you see the judge. It mainly depends on where he can fit you in between all his other scheduled work. In some courts, the process is structured to enable the judge to see you before he starts any of the rest of his day's work. The judge will be concerned primarily in ascertaining that you have taken proper advice and you appreciate what the effects of bankruptcy are. He will check to see that your debt levels are appropriate for bankruptcy. He will then make an order with a specific time quoted. This will mean that at that moment, 12 months hence, you will automatically be discharged. You will be free to leave court after the order is made. Now, if you want help going through the bankruptcy process, uh, this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis for my living. Please contact me on 0808-160-5577 or email me at sthatcher at helpwithdebtuk.com. Thank you for listening.